When I think about what the Guild has meant to Dalton and to Northwest Georgia more broadly over the last 60 years, I think the thing that I keep coming back to is that the Creative Arts Guild is in so many ways the what for of so much that happens at Dalton. You know, we are proud of our manufacturing history and our carpet industry and, and all of the innovation that goes on with business here. Those are instrumental ends, right? They're not intrinsic ends. Those are things that we do to achieve some other end. And so the question becomes, why do we build strong manufacturing and industry here? And I think the Guild really sums up in a really eloquent way, what for? Noah Wadsworth was here and his wife, Kathy. They went to Auburn and Tom Stull and I went to Auburn. So we had an interest in putting together something for our children. And Noel said one day, he said, Marie, what do you think about putting together a group that has art and dance and music? And I said, yeah, I'm in. And lo and behold, other people thought it was a good idea. And Tom Stull worked for Harvey Howald at Textile Rubber and Chemical. And he was our first donor. But we were young and excited, and the world was open to us. The Creative Arts Guild has been in Dalton for six decades, and I know firsthand my parents chose to live in Dalton because the Creative Arts Guild was here. We have a very intimate and family-oriented community, and yet we have arts that rival that of much larger cities. And I feel such a responsibility to the people that have come before us. The names that we're familiar with, you know, Spiegel, Jonas, Lorberbaum, such important influential families who understood the importance of the arts early on and were able to make such a big difference here in our community. And we have to carry that legacy forward. And, and it really becomes an essential part of our region's growth. The Guild has evolved in a way that parallels the growth of Dalton. You see the diversity of programming, the inclusiveness of the people who participate in Guild events, but it's built upon uh, six decades that, that create a legacy of change, of evolution, of growth. And I think it's important that as we look at it today, we don't just think about its history, but its potential for the future. In the early 70s, my parents, Greg and Sandra Sims, this is my mom, Sandra, um, moved to Dalton. And one of the first things they did was enroll me in ballet at the Creative Arts Guild. Through the years, I've taken ballet lessons from Stanley Zumpakis and uh, took calligraphy classes and art classes and pottery classes. And then I got married and one day um, I enrolled my children in these classes. In the 90s, I was festival co-chair and chair. And here I am 30 years later and I'm still volunteering and I love it. And I can't wait for the next event. I think we have a responsibility to carry it forward. I mean, there is such a strong legacy here that we can't let falter. So I think it's our responsibility to give our time and give our resources to, to continue to support what the Guild does and what it means to all of us. The Guild has, has thrived because of people making donations, taking classes, purchasing tickets for events, and that's a real investment that all of us can make. I saw the enthusiasm here and I saw the vision that different people had for the Gill and I, I believed in what they were saying and I saw a lot of uh, hard work being put forth by people that work here at the Gill and I wanted to try to make, uh, make it successful just for the benefit of Dalton and the community. Without funding, we couldn't operate. We couldn't have music class. We couldn't have art classes. We couldn't have the ballet. We couldn't have any of that. As a younger generation, we have to help um, keep it going. I think we were just looking at how to get involved in the community, how to give back to the community that's given us so much. I know I love volunteering and you know seeing everybody. I mean, I can walk in here at any time and hi, Rosa, how are you? know, all the smiling faces. Um, so definitely a family vibe here. If you have not visited the Guild, Within the last year, two years, three years, come like everyone's welcoming. We welcome anyone everywhere with open arms uh, and maybe even a hug, maybe a kiss <laughs> on the cheek.
This is not just an organization where you take music lessons or dance lessons. Those things are extremely important, um, but this is, a, this is a community of people, of volunteers and staff members here at the Arts Guild. These are folks who need the funding because the work needs to be done. It's not even so much about learning a skill that you don't have. It's not about learning knowledge that you don't have. It's about learning to express yourself in community with other people who are also expressing themselves. So I think if I had to sum up the legacy of the Guild in one word, it would be possibility. For generations, the Creative Arts Guild has grown thanks to the dedication, hard work, and generosity of people in our community. Today, the legacy of the Guild is in your hands. The legacy of the Guild is in your hands. The legacy of the Guild is in your hands. The legacy of the Guild is in your hands. With so many hands and hearts involved in this organization, it is up to us to ensure that the Creative Arts Guild lives on. The legacy of the Guild is in your hands.